This is Searching for the Truth. In today's video, I just wanted to talk to you guys about evil and darkness. And I know a lot of you probably know that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against darkness and high places. Satan is the ruler of this world, and um, he uses any method possible to take as many souls as he can to hell with him. That's the goal. Um, the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I've actually experienced evil firsthand. And if many of you have not, you know, a lot of people want to do uh, witch hunts or go on those ghost tours and go in haunted houses because they seem interested because they want to know if this stuff is real or fake. You know, they watch all these programs on TV and in movies. And they're like, oh, no, 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 ghosts aren't real. Well, they're not actually called ghosts. They're spirits, and they're evil spirits. And, you know, they are very real. And if you've never experienced one, I hope you never do, because it's, uh, it's a real scary thing. I have actually been there, done that, and don't ever want to do it again. Um, the reason that this is coming to mind right now, though, is um, I usually share this story with people who are kind of on the fence of whether or not they believe in in evil because if you can believe in evil that means you've got to believe in good because that's just that's ingrained in you you know is it's good versus evil and so if I can show you the negative hopefully it'll help you to see the positive and um you know I, I like I said I was put into a position um, at a younger age and it was very scary situation um let me uh, set the stage for you so it was on a saturday um saturday the 14th to be exact uh year 2005 i don't know the month not important the reason i know that it was a saturday is because the day before it was friday the 13th the reason i know the day before it was friday the 13th is because i made a very silly statement when i rolled up to the house that i'm going to tell you guys about um, I said, huh, this looks kind of like Friday the 13th. Now, the reason I said that is because this house was in like a suburban type neighborhood, but it was down this long, dark uh, dirt road. It didn't fit. It's not something that you would see in normal suburb type neighborhood. So I made the statement of, oh, this looks like Friday the 13th. And it did. Well, mark my words. That's what I should have said. But anyway, so the reason that I was there with my friend is we were there to babysit. Um, we go in, you know, get all the the ins and outs of this whole scenario. The mom was going to go play bingo. Little girl, four years old. Um, she's you know, got her toys and dress up and all that stuff. We're showed where all that stuff is. Um, also, the phones. Back then, we had corded phones or cordless phones, either or. Um, but they were attached to a wall. You know, it's a, a landline. Um, we, we had cell phones. They just weren't very good. We had a little Nokia brick phone. And uh, my friend had a little flip phone. That was, like, the new technology at the time. Anyway, get to babysitting, everything's going great, little girl wants to play dress up, so we go to play dress up, um, she decides to tell us that Oscar is mad at her, didn't know what that meant, I've never had an imaginary friend, had no clue what that meant, I asked her, uh, what do you mean Oscar's mad at you, he doesn't want to play with me, he's mad at me, he's in that box, she pointed to a box on her dresser. It was a little music box. Well, Curious George here opens the music box, and lo and behold, the little four-year-old falls down into the corner of the room and looks straight up to the opposite corner, and her eyeballs got big around as golf balls. She looked like she had seen a ghost. Well, in fact, she had seen a spirit. Um, and from then on out, that little girl was no longer the same little girl she was when I first stepped foot in that house. Um, she began acting weird. That's the best way to describe that. 
Um, she was faster than any four-year-old I've ever seen. She was zooming through the house so quick, back and forth, back and forth. She broke a lamp. Um, she brought a Bible out into the living room and was flipping to scriptures she wanted us to read that were about demons. Um, and it was just, just off. Um, she no longer looked the same in her face. Um, she had little white rings around her pupils. She stuck her tongue out and, I kid you not, it was forked. And I know listening to this story, it sounds kind of insane. And I can get that. I could totally get that sitting on the other side of it listening to what I'm saying. Could sound crazy, but being that I've lived it and know it, it's not a joke. It's real, and I don't want anyone to ever have to experience it. Um, we tried to call the mom to let her know what the heck was going on. And lo and behold, the phones that she had showed us when we got there, none of them were attached to a wall. None of them were hooked into a landline. Um, there was no dial tone. The phones didn't work. It was like a movie, literally. I swear to you, it was like a movie. Well, during this time, we took some photos with a little flip phone that was... It didn't have much charge left, but we wanted to get evidence that this took place because, you know, logically, you've got to be able to prove that it really happened. You know, just you just can't wrap your head around this stuff just listening to it or even experiencing it. It's hard to wrap your head around it, you know. So we wanted physical evidence. Took some photos. Took those photos over to my friend's cousin's house. Showed the photos to the cousin. Two days later, the cousin's house was now haunted. We didn't believe that, of course. Logically, you don't believe that stuff. So we go and take a visit. Truthfully, the house was now haunted. A little boy, one years old, walking around, pointing at the ceiling, saying, man, 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 one years old now pointing at the ceiling. When he wasn't saying man, he was actually walking around trying to hit his mom with a tire iron, throwing change. His face looked different. He had an evil look about him, is the best way to describe what I saw. Um, his room was ice cold. I kid you not, I could see my breath in that room. Um, they say that he would collect change and put it in there, and at night the change would fly out of there and hit the parents. I witnessed something flying across the house when I was there. My brother yelled to me, Duck! I ducked, and I'm not kidding. When I say a freaking Tupperware bowl flew from the back end of the house to the front end of the house and almost hit me in the head. I mean, that's not super significant but that was crazy I've never seen anything like that before a um the the cousin had she said I don't know where my lighter went and all of a sudden we're sitting on the couch and a lighter literally falls out of the ceiling and hits me on the arm and uh, that, yeah, you can't logically explain that so I said all that to say this the reason that I feel like I went through those types of situations is to show me what I really needed to see. I needed to see the evil because not long after that I got saved because I didn't want that to happen to me ever again. I never wanted to be in a situation like that and so I got saved and I felt much better. Well, telling this story to some kids that were talking about going home to watch a horror film the other night. We happened to be in the neighborhood of the, the cousin's house that we made haunted. Well, I went to go show them what it looked like and explain to this story that I'm telling you guys. And um, I'm pointing to two houses in the corner. And I'm like, it's either that one or that one. When I said that one and pointed to the right one, the uh, street light went out right in front of the house. I literally got chills. And I was pretty much back where I was that day, and it was a scary place. Um, so really, the only reason I'm telling you guys this story is 
that I don't want any of you to ever have to experience evil. I mean, hopefully my story of evil will help you to research and find the good for yourself. But I'm just letting you know it's really out there and it is a uh, it's very real. It's a scary thing and it's nothing to play with. It's nothing to you know toy around with. Don't play the freaking uh tarot cards and uh, don't do the uh, Ouija boards and don't do any of that stuff cuz you're playing with real evil and um you don't want that. That's really all I have for you guys today. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Thanks for listening.